Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dilmer again, and today I'm really excited because I'm gonna continue the videos with face tracking. In this video, I'm actually gonna be using Unreal Game Engine instead of Unity. The reason for that is because I wanna show you some of the features that they provide with our game engine. And I'm also really excited to bring a new game engine into my channel, which I'm gonna start doing in the next future videos. So today, what I'm gonna be focusing on is we're gonna be doing and building what you guys see playing behind the scenes, which is basically a template that Unreal provided in order for you to do face tracking. So this template includes everything that you need to get going in order for you to capture faces. And the cool thing with this is they provide a new feature called Lifelink, which allows you to connect your application to the actual Unreal editor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through the process of creating the certificates that you're gonna need in order to push you know, your actual application to an iOS device. We're gonna go through the certificate creation, profile creation, and then we're gonna be looking at some of the settings that we need to change in Unreal in order for you to push the device. So, Let's jump into my computer and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing today, which is to actually build the AR functionality for Unreal, where you can do face tracking. So what I have right now is I'm using version 4.25.3, and we're going to be going into the Learn section. And if you go down, you're gonna see there's going to be a face AR sample. This is the one that I've been playing with, so we're just gonna go ahead and click on it. Click on it, it's going to tell us that we can create a project or we can use you know, an existing project and open it up. So in our case, we haven't created it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it. It's gonna tell you here where it's going to put it. And this is gonna be important because there's some files that I want to, you know, that I may want to look at later on. So just remember that path. And I'm going to just name it face AR example. I think that's fine. We're gonna click on create. It's gonna take some time to do that. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you what we need to do to be able to build it to our devices. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go into my keychain. And I'm gonna pretend that you haven't done this. So I'm gonna do it all from scratch. So it's gonna take a little more time, but that's fine. So just go ahead and go into keychain access on the top, certificate assistant, and we're gonna click on request certificate from a certificate authority. And I was trying to get this working with the, you know, with the Unreal documentation and some of the documentation was you know, it wasn't, I, I wouldn't say it was bad, but it was really hard to follow. So I had to go through this process and I finally was able to figure it out after a couple of days. So what we're gonna do here is gonna put in your email and then just change this to save to disk. And I'm gonna put it in my desktop. It's gonna be the certificate that we're gonna be creating. And so it's gonna create a certificate for us there. We're gonna click on done. Go ahead and close this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Chrome. See if I can type Chrome, there we go. Open it up and then we're gonna go into developer, no PayPal, <laughs> I use PayPal a lot, so apple.com. And then we're gonna go into account and because I was hacked once, this is gonna be asking for a lot of information, probably a OAuth. oh, I didn't this time, so it looks like it, it remembers. Anyway, so go into certificates, IDs and profiles and it's gonna tell you here you know, if you had a certificate already, I already have a certificate. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and revoke it. Cause I wanna just pretend that we're starting from scratch. It's gonna walk you through this process. I've done this a million times. So just go ahead and select Apple development, hit continue. It's gonna tell you to upload your certificate. We're gonna be uploading this guy. Just click on continue. And then we're just gonna click on download. It's going to basically install the cert into your computer. Telling you know, telling your computer that you're you know you're you have you're certifying that you are part of the Apple Apple development program basically gives Apple a lot of, a lot more security in in the applications that we create. Anyway, so that is installed. So now if we go into the key change, we should be able to see that, and you can see that Apple development Dilmer Valesillos certificate is not trusted. Make sure you double click it. I think if we double click it and you go into trust, we can just say you know, always trust and, and now it's gonna be, if I close out of it, put in my fingerprint here, now it's going to be trusted. I don't know that you need to do that. I think Xcode does that automatically, but I did it anyway, just in case. Okay, so now the next step, we're gonna go back into all certificates and then go into profiles. We're gonna create a new profile. I think I already did one before, but we're gonna do it one more time. Yeah, I did this one. So let's go ahead and let's click on edit. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Because like I said, I want to I want to do it from scratch, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. So these are things that you wouldn't have to do because you haven't gone through this process. But if you needed to do it, you know what you need to do to delete it. 
Okay, so this is going to be a development uh, profile. So we're going to do iOS app development, continue. It's going to tell you which app ID you're going to be using. And that's something that I didn't show you. So let me show you that before we create the profile. Go into identifiers. And here we're going to be just creating a new identifier, which I already have. So let's go ahead and find it. And this is the one that I already created. So it's going to go ahead and remove it. I'm going to create it one more time. I'm going to click on identifiers. It's going to tell us what identifier to create. I'm going to cl click on app ID. And it's going to be an app. So I'm just going to do app, continue. And this one, I'm just going to say this is going to be the phase, I think we call it fa phase AR sample. Just going to copy that because we're going to need that for the bundle. And here it's going to be, you know, do your domain. It's going to be reverse, the Elmer Games. Come the owner games face AR sample, and I think that's everything. And then if you needed to specify capabilities in here, you can you can do so. I'm just gonna leave it as default. I don't need to do anything like that. And then register. And now you should be able to see that here. Like if I search for that, you're gonna be able to see it there. Now we can go back into profiles and then we can create a new profile. It's gonna be an iOS app development profile. So click that and continue. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my app ID. It's going to basically populate everything. Hit continue. It's going to ask me, OK, what, what certificate I'm going to be using. I'm going to select that one because it's the one that we just uploaded. And it's going to tell you, OK, what devices are registered. If you didn't have your device registered already, you can do that with Xcode. And I can show you how to do that as well. For now, just, I'm just going to enable everything. And then it's going to be the name. So I'm just going to paste that. And in fact, I already have a name here. I'm going to call it face AR sample development and then generate. And now what I'm going to do is click on download and, and it's going to install again in my keychain. In fact, it's going to be putting that in Xcode so we can, I don't know that it puts it in here. Oh, it looks like it did, or this might be the other one. But just trust me, it, it will work. So now let's go ahead and go back here. So we should have the project already created. If this didn't open up, then we can, we should be able to just launch. And we should be able to open the project from within Unreal. So I'm going to let this open. It's going to have to compile a bunch of shaders. And then I'm going to be showing you what we need to do in order for us to, to be able to push it to the device. So it looks like it's already open. Click on the project that got created. I'm just going to click on Open Project. And we'll let it open up. All right, so it looks like this is already open. And we can see the, you know our character is there. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to have to go and do a couple of different things. We're going to have to go into settings and then go into project settings. I'm hoping I remember all these steps because I just did this once. And then go into platforms and then iOS. And these things right here are going to be, these are going to be really important. This is going to be the project name. I was going to call it the bundle display name. It's going to be the name of the app. So we're going to be pasting that. Bundle name, I'm just going to, you know, the same. This one is going to be the bundle identifier. Remember, we did come the Elmer Games. In your case, it'll be your company and then the app name. And then it's going to be the version number. I think those are OK. We don't need to do anything else. And looks like this loaded everything. So you can see that you know we downloaded, we created a certificate. It shows green and it's valid. And we also created a provisioning profile which matches this bundle identifier and it's also green. You can see that I can now check those two. And I mean, that, that part, it's good to go. So that's all you need to do here as far as like getting things set up. There's other things that you can do. Like if I go and change, you want to change the icons, if you want to change different settings about the bill, then you can do so. I'm not going to be covering any of that. I just want to get it working and then push it to my device and show you how the actual augmented reality face tracking capability works. So I'm just going to go ahead and close out of this. And the next thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that my phone is connected. So I have my phone connected via USB-C cable. And I know that it is connected because I can see it in the list. If you don't see it, that means that your phone is definitely not connected. Just make sure that you have the proper cable and you have registered the device in the provisioning profile. If you haven't registered the device, you can go, we can, we can do a trick. And I'm going to try this. And if that doesn't work, then we can go into Xcode and look at it. But what we need to do now to basically to build it is we can just select the device. And it's going to start the compi compilation process. I think it took some time last time to do it. And it freezes for a little bit, and I don't know why. Maybe you know it's not running in another thread, but it just basically takes a little bit of time. And I normally open the 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 log to see what's happening, but it's gonna take some time to deploy. So I'm just gonna you know continue on as soon as this is done building.
All right, guys, so it looks like it's finished building, and you guys can see now that my face is getting detected. I can move my face. It also looks for the face, and if it doesn't find it, it'll give you uh, a little command and a little prompt. So I can also select the settings button, and you can see you have calibration mode, live link connection, which we can use, and I'm going to show you how that works. And also, if we wanted to see the mesh, you can see the mesh. So if, we, if we look at the mesh, you can now see the mesh that you know that got generated. You can go back and just look at the 3D character. You can also show the bulk values. And this is very similar to what I did with ARKit by using you know, iOS in Unity. It just shows you all the different you know, blend shapes. And I think it's because I'm wearing a hat. It's not detecting, it's not detecting my face, but let's go ahead and uncheck that. We don't want to see that. And then show unit stats, you know, frame rates, game draw calls. And, and different statistics about the game. Just going to go ahead and unselect that. The next thing that I want to do is I want to show you how you can connect your computer to the live link. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and pull up my, my terminal window here. And I'm going to go ahead and look at my IP address. So we're going to do I, IF config. I'm trying to type with one hand and then the phone on the other one. And then it's going to search for 192, a 192 address. You're going to see that's going to be my local IP address. So we're going to need that because we're going to have to put that on the on the actual application. So what I'm going to do is on the application, I'm going to go into live link connection. And we have an IP address there already. It's similar, but not quite right. We need to do 40, which is going to be my computer IP. And then we're going to do 113, 113. Hit OK. And there we go. And now we can, pre we can press connect. And it's going to connect to basically to the editor. So now what I'm going to do here is I think I can do, yeah, I think I can do here. And let's go ahead and hit play. There we go. And uh, it's working. So now what we can do, and this is something that is not available in Unity, and that's why I wanted to do this video, is because with this, you can see, you know, I can see everything running from within the editor. And this is really, really powerful because if you wanted to, you know, maybe take, you know, screen recordings of this, or you wanted to see how the values transfer, you know, from ARKit to the actual editor. It's really powerful when it comes to that. So it looks like everything, yeah, everything is working just fine. I can rotate here and yeah, and I can look at the character. I can also look at the values here if you wanted to, but I think I'm gonna call it good. This is what I wanted to show you on, on this video is how we could run this application from Unreal. And if you guys have any questions about running this, let me know in the comments and I appreciate your time guys, thank you. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video on Unreal Development with Face Tracking. So if you guys have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments. And also be sure to check me out in patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.